What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as Ramus in the jungle. And this is, you know, the Armadillo. Arm Armadillo. Uh, I am playing this champion because it has been actually quite a long time since I played him. And I want to show you guys a champion who I personally believe is actually a very good champion to win in solo queue with. Because he's just so goddamn annoying and so strong when used properly so decided we would try and give this a shot plus like i said it's been like two years or something since i actually last made a ramus video and i'm not sure who i even feel like jungling with so i mean let's do it so before we really get started in this jungle game i've actually been uh i apologize this video will be very late tonight i was grinding ranked all day i am currently 1-1 in my promotion series to diamond so I've actually got a uh, got a lot of progress done today. So great job, us! Just fantastic job. I actually messed that up already. Slight mess up, but I messed it up indeed. Because what I did there is I smited the big golem, and then I auto attacked it, which stunned it. But I popped my W like right as I did that, so I actually wasn't getting the damage boost out of. Uh, out of my W from the big golem hitting me, so just my mistake. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go into this camp next and do this one second, because this will make it so my smite will be up for my red buff and make it a lot safer for me to clear it. Um, should be a lot healthier for us. So just going to try a safer clear strat here, because I am jungling against a Nidalee who is very likely to try to invade me. Um... Sometime soon. Not exactly sure when, of course, but it is, you know, it's a it's a rather likely situation to have happen. So we'll go ahead and just get that power ball off there first. Pop the iron defense ball curl and get the damage rolling. So like I said, with the potion here ticking, we are just going to smite this here in just a moment. Uh, obviously, I would like to wait just about as long as I can to smite it because that way it will, um, you know, give me the most health out of it that I can get. And as you can see, quite a lot of health coming out of that. Looks like Nidalee is topside, according to Skylar. And according to Skylar, he's also lying. So please, uh, please don't tug on my heartstrings like that, Skylar. It makes me very nervous. So actually... Okay, what am I... Whoa! I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh, God. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go back. Now, I know it's kind of a weird time to back. I should have backed a lot sooner. I just kind of didn't think about it. But I'm going to grab the Hunter's Machete right now and just go right back to my blue. Because what this will do is allow me to restock on potions, get the Hunter's Machete so I can get full experience from every camp I do now. And also, you know, have a chance to reset myself and have this blue for more of a, an effective duration. Because I'll be able to utilize more of the time spent with it. So just little things like that to maximize efficiency. And let's go ahead and, well, get this blue ticking down. Now, just because I know a lot of you guys have been asking this as well, um, a lot of people actually don't know off the top of their head, like, what the best masteries to use are right now in the jungle. And pretty much, you know, like, nine times out of ten, the best mastery to use is going to be Strength of Ages. Uh, it's a very, very good mastery right now, and I'll talk more about that later. But let's go ahead and get this gank rolling up here. Here we go! Just gonna run up here and come on, pop. Go ahead and just pull him out here. That's gonna be a little bit of damage off on him, scaring him off, and that will be the end of that. So, no more gankaroo right there. And I'm actually just gonna, well, go do something else now. Go do something else with my time. Basically, I'm just going to pop my power ball and get back to farming for now. Not a whole lot of reason for me to try and do anything. I could try and, like, loop back around top, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of a point yet because I'm actually only level 3 right now, where he's level 4, so... Uh, or level 5, I mean. So, I really need to get more farm under my belt. So, let's see here. There actually is a couple uh, different choices I could make right now, and I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to level my taunt first, so I can really get a lot of emphasis on ganking. Because when you level your taunt, it actually reduces more armor from the people you taunt. And it also makes the taunt last longer. So, 
Very good stuff there. And especially if you're ganking bot lane, uh, you know, with your AD carry there, it makes for a lot of, uh, a very large damage difference when you gank with that E. So let's see here. They are very far pushed up. I am going to try and get this gank off uh, on bottom. My red will not be up for another two minutes, so I don't have to worry about that. Check that bush just in case Nidalee had pinked it. Let's go ahead and ping them on my way. It looks like there is no pink in this one. They don't seem to know I'm coming. So let's go right here, right onto this lady. Kabonk right there. Get this taunt off on her. Look at that damage. The flash coming out. It looks like, oh golly, he was a little too far up <laughs> without being very safe. That's for darn sure. Let's go ahead and get this taunt, though. Pop the W, and I'm actually going to get on out of here. So let's see. Whoa. Avoid the traps, and that will be the end of that. So definitely needed Jinx to play that a little more carefully. They all went for Caitlyn when I was trying to constantly ping the Sona. So that was some sort of miscommunication there. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and grab the Stalker's, or not the, uh, yeah, the Stalker's Blade. It looks like Nidalee will be getting a kill off on the Nami down there. So, unfortunately, we tried to help, and it was very poorly executed. Because what should have been actually, you know, going very well, they kind of just went on Caitlyn instead. I mean, at least we got, eh. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Gonna try and do this real fast. Go ahead and smite this guy. And one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to use your iron defense ball curl while you have your, uh, or you don't want to use your power ball while you have your W up because that does actually mess with you. So let's see here. It looks like, it looks like she is going for it. Hello. Bop. And I'm just gonna come, uh, say hello while my man Skyler does, uh, does more of the living stuff. So, whoa, oh. Hey, there's a pink. Let's go ahead and grab this real fast. Because Nidalee, I mean, she could try and do stuff. Damn, she's level 7. I guess that's what happens when you get two successful ganks off, though. So I am unfortunately very behind. I don't have very good lanes to gank for, either. That's one thing that's rather unfortunate. Vlad, early, ga early ganks, not good. Malphite, early ganks, again, not good. But now that he is level 7 and has his ultimate, uh, which he got last level, but... You know, now that he has his ultimate, it'll be a lot better for me to gank for him. And same with our mid laner, but ganking Morgana still in the first place, very difficult. So unlucky with the champions we're against this game, unfortunately. But it should be okay. Hopefully I can just, like, really hardcore camp bottom or something, maybe? It looks like Morgana will have to flash out of that. I don't think she's gonna die, but definitely going to be brought near death. So... Good job, Skylar. And let's go ahead and keep farming for now. Because there is literally nothing else for me to do. Um, so Nidalee is actually getting pretty hefty there. It's, that's going to be an issue. It's going to be a definite issue. But basically, as Ramus, um, the reason Ramus is good in solo queue is because he actually does a lot of damage regardless of the smite you take. A lot of people take Skirmisher Saber on Ramus, but I kind of wanted to grab... The chilling smite this time just to try it because i'm not some ramus god or anything but uh i like to try and have fun but now that i have my ultimate too i can also try and gank top and let's see with malphite ultimate what is he going for okay he's going for whoa that teleport and let's see if the unstoppable force will hit both of them and will it be a kill it's looking like he's trying really hard it will get the kill right there so good job and I should actually head on top lane now, because since I am not anywhere around bot lane to try and help out with the gank, I should actually go top, so I can absorb all this experience and not let Pantheon push too hard. But that was a very good teleport by the Malphite, picking up quite a lot there. So great job, buddy. And let's go ahead and see if we can, well, at least get some of this. Uh, unfortunately... Ramus is kind of hard to actually get these minions with without popping my ultimate, which I guess I probably should have just done because it's a super short cooldown. But uh, that is okay. That is okay. I do just want to stay up here, though, until our, uh, our Malphite gets back up here. That way he can just come chill and get his lane back. But until then, 
no reason for us to do anything other than sit here and give these minions an experience, because there's a lot of experience to get uh, the money out of a lane. So, a good covering there, and now Malphite's back, so we can go run right at our blue and grab this real quick. Go ahead and grab it with the taunt that will reduce this armor, and I know it doesn't seem like it's much, but it does actually reduce the uh, buff's armor, so you can smite jungle camps too. A lot of people don't do that. Which is fine, it's just like, you know, one of those other things that you can do more. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and go back here. Get my Bomby Cinder, because I will be building into a Sun er, uh, Cinder Hulk this game. And that will give me some good health, and it will help with my clear as well. So, it'll give me some more clear, it'll give me some more damage, it'll give me some more health. Very good item to have, it looks like Nidalee is bottom again. So I need to try and get down there. I'm nervous to try and gank for that lane, for... A lot of reasons. Because um, uh, <laughs> most notably, the biggest reason would probably be the fact that they're not the ones that are gonna be uh, gonna be winning here. So let's go ahead and just get this. I don't think. Actually, this might be a kill. This will be a kill. So come on, goodbye, yeah, brother. That's gonna be one kill right there. And let's see, maybe come here. Come here, Nidalee, you ain't getting away from this! And let's see, one more auto, will it be enough? And it looks like it will not be, but come here! Oh, come here! I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. But getting one kill will definitely be nice for us, so we will get that. Unfortunately, I was not able to get a steal on, on the dragon or anything, but still getting a kill on Caitlyn with also busting her flash will be pretty tremendously helpful. And Nidalee getting baited. I don't know how she did not see that one coming. But hey, you know, a kill is a kill. So great job, Boo Skyler Udes. So, <laughs> well done. Cinder Hulk is complete now as well. So that is good. And let's see. Nidalee is like all of their kills right now. So that is good. I'm trying to think of what boots I want to get. Swiftness boots are good, but they don't really have any slows on their team. So I'm not sure if I want to if I want to go for those. I don't know. I don't know. Do not know. Let's go ahead and level up our W here. He should try and get that pink so I can come uh, come gank. But that's all right. That's all right. I'm gonna go back and grab my Cinder Hulk here. I'll probably, I'll probably just go for Ninja Tabai because the armor helps more. Actually, I should go for Merc Treads. I should definitely go for Merc Treads because it'll give me a bit more MR. And I just thought about how much hard CC they have on their team. So Merc Treads is definitely going to be the way to go this game. Um, I apologize, I'm not, not thinking very well. So it looks like Morgana Ultimate has been launched. The Soul Shackles have been uh, engaged and Skyler's just like yeah whatever I'll just keep on fighting cuz I'm Vladimir I got all this lifesteal and you know I just don't care I don't give a heck so nice job nice job and well we gotta go get our red and I'm gonna see if I can get another gank off on bottom now that I have my cinder hulk and I am higher level and I am much more uh, useful so never mind they took my red oh oh Whoa, what the? Oh, she was right here. <laughs> Actually, I mean, there's not much I'm going to do here. Whoa! Big Super Mega Death Rocket coming in there. Let's see, that is not the place for her to be. And, uh, you, you fool! I'm Ramus! <laughs> Let me tank it! <laughs> I'm very tanky towards that stuff. All right. So let's. There's really not anything we can do here, unfortunately. Um, with Skylar dead, or Vladimir, I'm not really going to try and do much of anything as much as I want to. I don't think it would be a good idea for me. Because even though I am capable of doing stuff, it's not, uh, not the most likely thing in the world that I'll be able to make these awesome plays without him around. So let's see. I'm actually going to see if I can fly up top real fast because if Malphite just ults him we should be good to get this sucker so I'm going to go ahead and ping on my way and let's pop the Q right here go in on him baby go in on it there it is the unstoppable force ba boom 
This is an easy kill without a doubt. And goodbye, Pantheon. So good night to you, sir. Keeping you locked down in the gaze of my beautiful charm. My puncturing taunt, if you will. So time to grab this scuttle crab real fast as well. And actually... Does Ramus even do the scuttle crab very quickly? I mean, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Oh no, Skylar is dying again. What happened? Does he keep going ham? I mean, I guess there were three people there, so that was a mistake on its own. Let's see, Jinx Salt. Looks like it was just used, so interesting. Very interesting. But great job, Malphite, on helping us get that kill on Pantheon. But I gotta say, I'm not sure if Windspeaker's Blessing is the proper Keystone Mastery for Malphite. And by not sure, I mean that is 100% not the right thing. Definitely should be running uh, Grasp of the Undying. Or Strength of Ages. Strength of Ages works just fine for Malphite too. But uh, not Windspeaker's Blessing is basically what I'm saying there. Because that is, that is not going to be the one that uh, provides a victory in this game for him. So let's go ahead and smite this out. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to do anything again until um, you know until we get more HP back and whatnot. I put my ultimate there because it's super short cooldown. Just trying to kill it a little faster. Let's teleport going back up top, and let's go ahead and grab this thing. And now we should probably get we should get a dead man's plate because I was sitting there thinking to myself, I could get a sunfire cape. But with Cinder Hulk, you don't want to get a Sunfire Cape. It's the same effect. It doesn't stack. So I'm going to get a Dead Man's Plate, and I'm probably going to get a Thorn Mail. Because Thorn Mail is super duper good on Ramus. So let's see. Maybe. Maybe I can do something here. I think I can. I think I can. So let's go ahead and pop the Q. JK. I ain't trying to fuck. I'm trying to bone. If they were able to stay just a little closer, then I would definitely be trying to bone. But wait, is Nidalee just soloing the dragon right now? She totally could be. And she's not. Good. Good. Good thing I wanted it as well. Yes. So let's see. Here we go. Watcha! Boom! That's gonna be the big taunt! There's the big unstoppable force! The huge initiation! Coming at you! Boom! There it is! That was a great fight for us! Holy shit! And the Jinx Zap! Here goes me! And let's see, is she gonna try and jump over this wall? Is she gonna be crafty? No, she's not, and I don't care for her to be crafty either. Let's get this dragon, baby! So, that! Mm, that was a big fight! I am so happy with that! Now, let's see, they should try and kill the Nidalee. Because I don't have... Okay, cool. That works. <laughs> I was going to say, they should really try and kill it because I don't have Smite. Until, uh, you know, five seconds from now. But, uh... <laughs> it is what it is. And we got the dragon. So, 3-0-2 now. That'll be good. And he is right. You know what? We should grab this real fast. So, come here, Miss Scuds. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, might as well smite you since, you know... I'm going back anyways. So, great job. That will be a very pivotal point in this game. Um, getting so much money back in, you know, in our favor with that one. Let's go ahead and grab another chain vest here as well, just for the sake of getting another chain vest for our thorn mail when we get it, after we get Dead Man's Plate. Because I do, I would like to get a little more HP first um, before I do get a Dead Man's Plate. Because HP on Ramus just makes him disgustingly tanky whenever you have your W up. So we'll go ahead and pop the W here. Taunt this bad boy. Give that red bramble back a smack on his behind. We'll go ahead and Q right there real quick. And he should be going down very soon here. Let's see. The blue will also be up in a minute and 45. So another thing to keep an eye on. We'll go ahead and smite this for the raptor buff. Because the raptor buff is probably... In my opinion, I think it's the best one. Um, in all honesty, oh, poor Malphite. Getting, getting even Soul Shackles there, too. You poor thing. So Malphite not going to be a part of the next fight. And that is okay. 
but uh, unfortunate to say the least. So, whoa, getting nailed by that. And that is okay, so let's see, where is it? There you are. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Okay, I got it. Never mind. Oh, the big Mr. Vladimir ultimate. And here we are, baby. Yeah, brother. Come on in. That's going to be a lot of damage right there going off. She's down. That's going to be another one down. And come here, Vladimir with the double kill. And whoop, come on. Uh, okay, dodged it. And uh, come here. Yeah. Boop. Go ahead and get this smite right there. There's the bubble. And come on, not going to be enough. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, I'm fine. I mean, she's not going to kill me, but still, gosh darn it. Not going to be able to get there in time. Malphites will be teleporting back in with the grace of a thousand gods. So, you know, I'm happy we could be graced with his presence. But getting that giant's belt, that'll help us out some. Blue buff in five seconds, so I'm going to go grab that. And I'm not really giving this to my mid laner either, because he's Vlad. He doesn't need it at all. <laughs> he doesn't even have energy. He just has nothing. He has blood. I guess. I mean, if it would regen his health. I mean, that'd be broken, though. You know, that'd be totally... That would be brocusted. That'd be disgusting. Morgana, go away. Morgana! This poor Malphite, dude. Alright. We'll be his hero, baby. I'll kiss away the pain. And... Watcha! Get off my baby boy! And whoa! Malphite! Oh, golly! Oh, golly! Oh, that's gonna be some good damage right there! There's one kill! And can I get out of this? So let's see. Whoop! Go ahead and taunt her just for the time being. And... Eh, come on! Eh, not gonna get out fully. But... Unfortunate. 404 to 414. Ramus not found. It looks like Skylar trying to just go flying in there like a goddamn maniac. We'll get one kill right there off on the Caitlyn. And he's gonna die right here. So, another death will come out for him. Putting him at 5 5 and 2 now. As bot lane does proceed to keep pushing and getting more towers down bottom. Jinx is getting close to the point where she should start grouping with us, but. For some reason, she's kind of gone half seas on in, on two items so far. That's kind of odd. Um, I mean, she's dead. She's very dead. But nevertheless, still odd to go half seas. So generally, when you're playing Jinx, first of all, you don't want Thunderlords because Jinx is a very very auto attack heavy champion. So you don't really want that Thunderlords at all. And let's go ahead and see here. Give me that movement speed, baby! And I'm out of here. She's actually very... Oh, she has mobility boost. No wonder she's so fast. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I was like, damn, she's kind of speedy. Which I figured it was just because of Sona's E. But nope. She has mobility boots. She's too speedy. Let's go ahead and go back and grab our dead man's plate real fast. That'll help us quite a lot as Ramus. Because it does gives us... Does gives us... Does give us that slow on our auto attack and it also gives us the building movement speed uh, with the momentum so a very solid choice and going straight from the half seas to two full items this is when Jinx should 100% group because Jinx is unlike other AD carries she groups a little earlier more effectively do the fact that she has a uh, little rocket stance, but I'm coming in. It looks like he wants more of it. Let's go ahead and smite her out. Kabamo, that's going to be, come on. Uh, get on me. Don't try and hit him. It looks like this will be Kablam. Lots of damage coming out, and you know what? Do it. Do it. Do it, little boy. You're doing so much no damage to me right there. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, he has a QSS already. Okay. Well, QSS going down. Looks like the alts. Going to just be soaked in the face again. So, you know, I would like to say, I would like to be the first to point out that that was our Nami's patented uh, bullet to her face style. And I gotta say, I approve. So, just grabbing that ward real fast will be all I am interested in doing right now because, actually, actually I can't even do shit about it. Unfortunately, we do have much more of a team fighting team. Please don't lead them towards my blue, or my red right now. I can't, I can't handle that. Cannot deal with that. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Should I save my smite for a potential steal? I think I should. Vladimir dead again. And now I'm definitely not gonna get a potential steal. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm just gonna go back. Grab another cloth armor. Because we will need two of them. One for the chain vest, one for the the actual cloth armor, because that builds into Thornmail. It's like some made death rocket. Flying off into Dominion. Rest in peace, Dominion. And let's see here. I get Oh that's gotta feel bad, man. But still gonna get the kill off on Nidalee. That'll be good. Let's go ahead and see if we can do something here in mid. And try and uh Try and get something done, because with Nidalee down and Vladimir spawning, I would say we can go for something like Baron, but we really can't. That's not that's not a choice right now. So, go ahead and just whip, whip. just get all these traps down, because I don't want those in my face. Get the get those tits out of my face. I don't want them. So, with actually without Malphite Ultimate, it's not going to be a super wise choice of us. Uh, to try and fight, unless I just decide to go ham skis anyways. So, whatcha? That's gonna be whoosh! There's the taunt! And let's see if maybe we can do something. The crescendo coming in, and I am now out of here. Vladimir Ultimate, the Hemo Plague. Hey, I'm gonna recall real fast. So lots of big damage there. Nidalee is going for it, and she is gonna get it. Everyone else is still fighting. I'm just, I'm just recalling, you know, I'm just having a good time. But Vlad gonna get one kill. And that will be that. So two for one so far, and three of them are very low. Skylar, don't get too greedy, my friend. You will find yourself in a very odd predicament, as he is right now. But Nidalee is falling for it again as Skylar just gets baited himself. And the unstoppable force, and he's dead. Okay. So this is, wow. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> this is most definitely rough. So I'm going to grab this top farm real fast, because they actually do have a banner of command up here. And I can't, uh, can't really let that be uh, taken too much hold in this lane. So can I smite those? I totally can. So go ahead and clear this wave. Give myself a lot of money and experience. Should be uh, relatively good for us. They might be able to just go for that Baron, which would be unfortunate. But not a lot I can do to stop them, unfortunately, either. So unlucky rubber ducky. But let's see, I mean, maybe is it... Not really. I mean, it was. Whoa. Okay. Sumeria Deathrod coming out very narrowly avoiding death there. She's dead. Never mind. I take it all back. There was no avoidance of death at all. She's fucked. Literally turning that mermaid into a merfucked. So, not, uh, not, a, not a pretty sight, one might say. Well, let's go ahead and we'll grab our chain vest and see if we can kill this bottom farm, too. So... The jungler being the one to push out the side waves, kind of an odd roll, but, uh, you know, a very important one, nevertheless. So, with that banner of command here, I am going to just walk forward and smite that real fast and let it beat itself up as I beat it up myself. So, taking this out, making that banner of command a banner of not commanding, because I'm not going to let that shit run my life, bruh. Go ahead and murder. Keep on murdering. There we go. There we go. It's like it's like watching a baby beat at a turret. It's honestly not a very fast murder. So let's see here. So, with them having Baron, I'm not sure if we want to fight this. But I kind of want to fight this anyways. But I kind of don't want to go that way. So let's go ahead and just not do that. I'm out of here. So see you later, nerds. Haha, <laughs> nerds. So Skylar, actually going to have to pull there. Not, not a pretty sight. It's no Nidalee Spears here, but, uh... There are some elsewhere, I guess, in a sense. They have a really good team for sieging. I just, I just realized that. They have a super good team for sieging, so that, that tidal wave was not, uh... Not a good time to use that. Definitely not a good time to use that. Because, unfortunately, we were unable to do anything with it and they, they didn't really even have a wave there so no one was no one was doing anything with that I'll be right back I'm gonna grab my thorn mail so let's go ahead and grab ourselves this thorn mail real quick and bop there we go 
251 base armor, and let's see if we can do something. Defense of the inhibitor? Initiate? No, we should probably just give this up. There's <laughs> not much fighting we can do right now. So, if we want to come back in this game and try and win, what we need to do is, first of all, wait out their Baron. That's step number one is wait out their Baron, which will be up in 25 seconds. You can tell because three minutes after the Baron timer goes away. So, a little tidbit of information there. But uh, other than that, we do need to actually just sit here and farm up. We cannot sit here and... We can't contest these turrets right now whoa golly miss molly but we cannot we cannot contest things right now unfortunately uh they're just that much further ahead of us right now and it's not that they're that much further ahead it's that nidalee does so much poke so now their baron is up dragon is spawning we do we try and force a fight here it's a hard call that was a very difficult call. So let's see. Throw that ward down there. Grab this pink that's inevitably in here. Nope. There's almost always a pink ward in there. Hey, guys. It's me, Ramus. Oh, well, no one was here. Hey, there's the pink. So this is not a place for me to be right now. Is Malphite's teleport up? It is not. Or it is. It is. So let's see here. Malphite. 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 Boom! Fuck! Oh. All right, this isn't good. This isn't good. I'm gonna flash out of here and see if I can do a bunch of damage to nothing. Okay, Malphite really needed to teleport there. Really, really needed to teleport there. Like the whole time. Like the whole time. That's why I was trying to ping that, but that's okay. Unfortunate. Wait, is he going for an Abyssal Scepter? Yanks. I don't know if I agree with that. Abyssal Scepter on Malphite, while it is not bad, it's d definitely not the thing he needs right now. Um, he would be much better off getting either a locket or just more health and armor. I mean, Abyssal Scepter isn't bad, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's not, not bad at all, actually. But I, I personally feel like he would be much better off with a different... A different item there so let's see unfortunately ow. unfortunately we cannot uh, really defend everything very well right now ow. okay you know what poke for days I'm hungry for it wait Pantheon isn't here this would be our time to fight if there ever was one we gotta do it as weird as it sounds I need to fly in there faster than a rampaging spider monkey so here we go! Here we go, baby! Oh. Go ahead and grab that one! I said grab that one! Alright, boop! And uh oh. Some Malphite. Okay. Unfortunately, Malphite needs to be ulted. Unfortunately, three of our teammates actually didn't ult that time during that entire fight. That was, uh, that was rickety. That was rather, rather raunchy in, in general. So four, three, and five, huh? Is that what we're gonna end this game at? It looks like that is. It looks like we're not gonna be able to come out with the W on this one. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But, you know, I still think, all things considered, we still had a not bad game. In all honesty, <laughs> no surprise there. Vlad highest damage in the game, even though he died the most on or second most on the team. Second most in the game. But just constantly going in at all hours of the day, we'll do that for you. And then us with second damage on uh, on our team. As full tank too. So that's not bad. That's not bad. But overall, I think we played that game. I could have played that a lot better. I think I could have gotten some better early ganks off. So, but, like I was saying earlier, not an easy team to gank for. Like, other than bot lane, which was just fucked, it... Malphite's not a good person to gank for, neither is Vlad. So, unlucky, but you can't win them all. And, 
if you guys did still enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like, leave a like and a favorite. I promise tomorrow's video will be better. This is all I can muster up the energy to get for you guys. I do apologize, but I hope it is still enjoyable for you. If you did, uh, you know, like and favorite and stuff. I already said that. Um, and as always, you know, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!